all I remember is I'd much rather deal with a coyote than my daughter crying and screaming. A coyote snatches a cat from this backyard, but it doesn't end there. The coyote finds itself in a fight with a father, desperate to save the beloved family pet. I was sitting inside doing some work. My son heard the, the commotion going on outside. He started shouting. I came outside and all I saw was a coyote bounding over these rocks with the cat, the family cat in, in its mouth. I thought I'd chase it down. So ran down, jumped over this, vaulted this fence, and I was off after the coyote. This is where I got hold of it and got the cat out of its mouth. Both Alan and the cat will survive after trips to the hospital, but their battle wounds will be with them forever. No, I've I got a very bad down to the bone cut on my ankle from, from the mouth and then my arm. And there's a, many puncture wounds all over my hands, but what can you do? And how about the cat? The cat's got six, six major puncture wounds. Um, it's on morphine right now. What's even more amazing is this isn't the first time this cat has cheated death. This area is actually where we found them. They were abandoned here in a cat carrier and they were jammed underneath this, this box uh, with a little bowl of water and a box of Kentucky Fried Chicken. So um, I think it's a very lucky cat. Well, this isn't the first coyote contact in the city this year, just a month ago. Nine pups were found living in this rock wall in a community on the other side of the city. Now, residents there have been doing their best to give them space, just like they try to do here in this neighborhood. We see them every day. We've lived here 15 years. Their den is, is further down. Um, and in 15 years, this is the first encounter we've ever had. Um, I've been very involved in conservation most of my life and just don't want to demonize the animals. We are on their land. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.